Hey, Marcus, what, what's just been uh, your focus this offseason, and, and you know, what, are, what are some of the things you've been working on? Mm, focus this offseason really has uh, just been mentality. Um, and, ooh, my bad. A lot of it's just been uh, just trusting myself more. I think it's just that simple. Uh, seeing that I can do a lot of things, and it's just all about applying. So, yeah. When, when you say trusting yourself, has that been something that you you've not had consistently, maybe your first couple of years, or? Yeah, I, I guess so, man. You know, sometimes um, I think as people we forget simple things, and you know, I I forget that sometimes I can do things quite good hey, so, so like how does that how does that affect you on the field is it maybe like not trying to move that you know you can pull off or like something like that man sometimes i just count it as to hesitation you know there's no real need for me to hesitate you know i've been practicing i know the moves and i know what to do and i got coaches here to correct me so it's just on me to go out there and do it and uh what's the, what's the process of working on that um reading I've done a lot of reading, you know, just trying to have more confidence in myself and what I know and even growing as a person, you know, trying to express myself in any way that I feel. What, what did you read? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what have I been reading? Um, shoot, I've been reading Alan Watts, um, The Book. Um, another one by him uh, is called Zen. Uh, I've gotten back on the art of war. Um, shoot. I just got another book from Mike Hodges, Coach Hodges, uh, is, uh, was it Mind of an Athlete? Um, shoot, really almost anything and everything. I just want to be a better all-around uh, all person. You know, I know, shoot, that will only help me overall. As far as, uh, as, far as your body, you know, you've been banged up a good bit. Has there, have you been doing different things to kind of uh, get you into, you know, uh, ready to play as far as, you know, 16 games slate. I mean, is there anything different that you could do? Uh, a lot of the things I would attribute to, mm, I guess, functional power. You know, from body-wise, we've really just kind of worked on overall flexibility, bend, and control. And I know from there, you know, power will be able to generate uh, as far as, you know, injuries and preventing them. When I look back, shoot, there wasn't that much we could do about a lot of it. It's just, you know, they happened and just overcoming it. So, shit, I mean, I'm just working on getting better. That's just my year. Were you, Marcus, were you pretty healthy for the second half of last season? Or uh, it, it seemed like you, you, you know, came on so strong when you returned from injury um, and then maybe didn't sustain that kind of production. Was, was it just hard to get back to full form? Uh, returning mid-season? Mm, I think some of it played with my head and then you know um, I started thinking too much. It got to a point where even though I was doing good I expect great and I let that kind of affect me and so you know sometimes we just got to know the difference and know what's real and what's not. Um, even then physically you know, there's always going to be some things, bumps and bruises, but shoot, I know y'all have seen Cam. Cam don't stop, and so, um, shoot, there's no excuse. And that, that's last year, so, you know, this is a new year. Marcus, when you look at all that stuff, I, I mean, it sounds like you're doing a lot of, like, uh, you know, self-improvement, that sort of thing, like, like working on it yourself. But do you, like, outsource that at all? Do you go see somebody to try to help you along that path? Uh, not really anymore. I feel like life's been helping me, and I've been lucky with that. Um, shoot, luckily I have been able to, uh, I've been blessed with a lot of people, and shoot, uh, Ryan helps me out a lot, and you know, I just try to gather lessons from everywhere, and um, I think the only real way that I'll learn, you know, uh, is by learning it myself. You know, I think I listen, but shoot, you know, it's, it's not like learning it yourself. By Ryan, you meant Ryan Nielsen? Yeah, yeah, Coach Nielsen. Marcus, how much do you feel like you have an opportunity uh, to be a starter? Uh, you know, this, you know, you're going into your fourth year. Uh, obviously, Trey has left. Um, they drafted someone, but how much do you feel like this is a big opportunity for you? I'm just going to laugh. Um, man, I expect every time that I step out there to 
do my best. And so it's just that simple. And I feel like this is going to be my best year. So that's what I expect. Hey, Marcus, you felt back to feeling like normal at all? Uh, is this still a you know, big uh, change in how you do things from the pandemic? Or, or is it kind of feeling a little bit more like uh, it kind of used to? Um, a lot more like it used to, I know, because of the vaccines, that's helped us out a lot. And so um, I say we're blessed by that and just, you know, being able to progress from all that as far as back to normal. Um, shoot, I think it's better than it was. So, you know, I, I know that's all we're looking for is better. So we're lucky. Marcus, is there anything unique in your offseason preparation playing on a defensive line that uses so much rotation and you're playing in so many different areas along the line? Um, huh, that's an interesting question. Yeah, you know, any time that you get to be multiple and, um, you know, get chances to do different things that add to your style and add to affecting the game, you know, that's only going to make your team better and you. And then the fact that we have so much depth in multiple players that can do multiple things, it just makes us all lethal. Um, we're blessed in that asset or aspect. So, um, you know, I think you kind of answered it. You know, you got multiple people being in these different positions and it just adds. Marcus, when you came back from the injury last year, you, you mentioned the head space. Like, did you feel like you were in the, the right mental space when you came back from the injury? And did it go away as it went along? Or when you came back, did you start out maybe not where you wanted to be? No, uh, I think I started good. Um, I think the biggest thing about me was I got into the, the numbers game. And I started thinking too much about it. You know, if you really think about it, the numbers will come. And shoot, I've been working on that this year. But even then, it's really about being effective and being the best at your job. So, shoot, with that, that's all that matters. The numbers will come. The, the numbers, you're, you're talking about sacks, because like your pressure rate's always like really good. So is it, is it, the, is it the sacks in the heads? Uh, that's kind of what I was talking about, but that's not necessarily what I'm looking for anymore. So, yeah, back then, yeah. What are you, what are you looking for? Shit, to be the best. Yeah. Ooh, that's a loss. All good? Yeah, hey, real quick, Mark Martins, what's your, uh, what's your early impressions of, of Paige Kerner? Are you guys doing any, like, Texas guy bonding? Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, you would say Texas guy bonding. Shoot, my impressions is I think he's better than when I got here. And I know just watching him and talking to him that, shoot, he can be better. So... I'm excited. Yeah. And shoot, he's a great guy. So, shoot, I get to do whatever I can to help.